is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and today we're sharing stories of hope. Uh, this one of a nurse who watched breast cancer take a toll on her own family, and now she's hoping to lead by example. Nina Griscola joins us now with her story. Absolutely. For many women in our 20s, it's really a time for vanity, right? Many women may be looking for a husband, building a career, maybe even starting a family. But for Danielle Jenkins, she instead made her long-term health a priority. Well, doctors started talking to me when I was 16 about it. Uh, my family doctor who knew my mom, my aunt, um, and then each doctor after that kind of brought it up every time, like, what's your plan? Danielle Jenkins had a plan. The IU Health Oncology nurse knows breast cancer all too well. During her childhood, she watched her mother and aunt battle the disease. And, like, it was crazy. Like, it both came back in their lungs and then it, it both like traveled through their bone and then it both like it was the same progression. When Jenkins was just 22, both women passed away just 10 months apart. Then Jenkins' grandmother, Phyllis Dunlap, and a cousin were diagnosed with breast cancer as well. I was worried that it's going to happen to all the granddaughters. Dunlap, who helps Jenkins care for her son Owen, is now in remission. But Jenkins, with the support of her husband, took a step to try to avoid breast cancer altogether. I was tested for 14, all 14 that are known to be linked to breast cancer, and uh, I don't have any of them. My second cousin didn't have any of them, and my aunt did not have any of them as well. Um, but since literally that entire generation of women had breast cancer, um, they just said it was a non-recognizable gene, and they ruled that as enough for insurance and the doctors to cover it. At just 24 years old, Jenkins had a prophylactic mastectomy. An elective move the National Cancer Institute says can reduce the chance of breast cancer developing up to 90%. My mom was worried about my brother, um, and then my aunt was the same way. So, yeah, I've seen it, and um, I didn't want to be saying the same thing about my son. I look at him, and it's like that was the right choice. Jenkins says becoming a mother after her mastectomy has come with a new set of challenges, such as not being able to breastfeed. Still, she says she doesn't regret the choice at all and hopes more women will be proactive in order to dodge the disease. On that topic of being proactive, and that possibly leading to an incredibly difficult decision, mm -hmm. what is that first step if you think you might have a genetic link? Right, so you can talk to your doctor about doing the genetic testing called BRCA testing. It's B-R-C-A, and there's 14 known genes linked to breast cancer. Mm -hmm. Even if those don't pop up, up, like they they didn't show up for Danielle if you have a very strong evidence of breast cancer within your family sometimes insurance and doctors will still move forward and allow you to have a mastectomy mm -hmm. huge life decisions mm -hmm. things that have to be done obviously not just you with your entire family mm -hmm. and these kinds of things yeah. Nina thank you mm -hmm. it is a seven